Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of ETS2, part of my Trucking Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, a couple things, I have made a new game, uh, a new profile, and the reason being is I installed the TSM map mod, which is a huge map add-on that adds 180 cities. Uh, I can actually go in and show you the world map. Uh, it adds 180 cities, which is just a ton of cities. I mean, as you can see right here, this is pretty much all the cities you have to begin with, and all of these down here, and even a couple of these up here are added in. I am currently in Africa. This is where my last load was to. Uh, my home base is out of uh, Greece right here, off this island, off of this uh, city that I can't pronounce. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back to being a level one. Uh, the reason why I never really installed map mods is a couple things. One, typically the mod is made by scratch. So there's a lot of visual glitches, like looking through the ground, just through the world, and invisible barriers and all this stuff this one actually is taken a lot of the stuff from s that was already made from scs is just pretty much copied and moved and there's a couple things that have been made from scratch but overall it looks really nice it handles really nice the only thing is i do get a couple frame rate drops and lags every now and then um so my game might crash it might get laggy at points there's nothing i can really do about that and a second thing is, I don't know why they do this, and it's really, really annoying, and I, I really hate it, but as of right now, I can't do anything. They give you a ton of money. I started out with $5 million. I've upgraded my home garage fully and bought as many trucks as I possibly could fill it, and I still have $3.5 million. So Alex tonight is going to try to help me get rid of that, um, because it's just... I don't like to play like that. It's terrible. Uh, I do own this truck because I had this much money, and you typically wouldn't if you're a level one. But, you know, what can you do? Um, so, I'm going to look for some, for some loads. Let's see what we, uh, what we can get. We're going to have to cross the water, I'm pretty sure, on any load. Looks like all of them are going there, pretty much. So I'll take the... Uh, what do I want to take? I'll take this one. Shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, I'm just at this truck stop where uh, I dropped off this last load. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, also, my truck does not have the most upgraded engine. Uh, I only have 450 horsepower, I think, and I think the highest upgraded engine on this truck is 800. Okay, these two guys are going to let me through. Doesn't mean shit for the other lane. Oh, okay. Well, you were going to let me through, but... Okay. People are getting very close to my nose. Come on. After this car. After this bus. Ow. Oh. Alright, kinda just had to get out there. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to this is like a little island. So you actually have to take the ferry over to the main island. Uh, which is really interesting, but it's kind of cool. The bus is just going to get in front of me, I guess. So yeah, I think this would be a uh, really cool addition to the uh, ETS2. Having this whole map mod installed and all these new cities. Um, I have a couple of other mods. I have a trailer 
fix mod that's actually kind of old, but it it fixes some of the trailers and uh, adds new textures to them. And I really like the textures that it adds to them because they look very. Some of them are real. I don't think all of them are, but they look. They all are very nice compared to the. I think someone spent a long time working on these textures instead of SCS that spent probably a day on each, you know, trailer texture. So it's actually I don't know they. To me, they just look more realistic. So. Uh, just waiting to get on this ferry and cross back over, pick my load up. And hopefully, when I resolve... Because I've been playing this game off camera a lot because I've just really been enjoying it, especially with this new map mod. So, hopefully I can resolve this having way too much money issue because it it takes the whole point of the game out what's the point of the game if you have five million dollars the second you start So, we have just taken the ferry to the other side, just off of the island. Pretty sure I can show you on the map. There you go. Taking the ferry across. Coming to pick up our load. And then we're going to have to take the ferry back again. Um, to the main island. Yeah, it's, as you can tell, it does look different from the stock. It's a little more deserty out here in Africa, which is actually really accurate. You can tell the signs are different, too. So, obviously, you know, these people have put a lot of time and effort into this map mod, and it looks it looks amazing. Um, I don't know what the most common bugs are for it, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Um... I think I read somewhere, it was really hard to read the the website that I downloaded this from because it was in German. And it was, uh, it was translated by my web browser, but then again, translated German gets kind of mixed up. And you get some sentences that make absolutely no sense. Uh, so I was trying to read through the comments about the map and see what the bugs were and didn't that really didn't help me at all kind of just made me more confused about what was going on so don't really know what the uh don't really know what the bugs are to the map um i think someone was saying something about a tri you're on a certain road going up a hill or something and i think he was saying that the ai uh trucks would run into his trailer because they just like didn't realize he was there or something and the solution that someone gave was to just drive on the shoulder i'm not sure where they were talking about there's like a lot of new roads so i'm not really sure which road they were talking about exactly <laughs> but i guess i'll find out when i get there but it does look like we're here pick up our load and take it to Greece. Oh my God, it's this trailer right here.
Alright, yep. I'm hooked up. So now we gotta go back to the ferry. Get on the ferry. They're in the other lane. I don't think they'll mind if I... just pull out. Didn't mind. Alrighty. I don't even, I didn't even see what I was calling. What it? Furniture. 25 tons of furniture. About 28 hours to get there. Wow. Says I'm going to get there in 13. But that also includes the ferry trip, which I think the land miles it said on that was uh, 107. So there's going to be going to be a short trip. I might end up doing two loads because I am still level one, so I don't have my long haul. And also my other game, I'm not really sure what happened, but when you look at the profile before you enter it, it says I'm a level 30. Uh, when you go into the profile, it says I'm a level 23 up in the top right corner, and I'm not really sure. I think a mod I installed somewhere along the line changed my profile or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but if I can get this to work properly, this uh, map, without giving me $5 million, I'm, one, I'm going to restart the game so I don't have any trucks, I don't own a truck, and nothing like that. Um, I'm, I'm going to restart completely and hopefully actually start a new proper career um, not cheating with that with this map mod because it does seem very nice and I do want to explore the new the new areas so and yes my truck is yellow I thought it was kind of an interesting color I don't know got tired of well, white like that truck across the road. White with this kind of EMB, as you can tell, with this yellow, it's kind of blinding. Well, not really. I don't have an EMB, but it's kind of the, the game's own built-in EMB that just makes the white and kind of lighter colors and certain angles on trucks very blinding. Let me go ahead and move over because I need to. Go ahead and pull off into the into the ferry. Want to go slow. Don't want to be damaging our load here. Oh, it looks like no one else is on the ferry. Empty ferry. Alright, now before I enter the ferry, I'm going to look at the map about where I need to go. Alright, turn the truck off. Okay. Now let's look at the map. I need to go... There. Okay. And the reason why I do that is because I think with this mod, it leaves you... When you enter the ferry, like I'm about to, it see look, you get pretty much any well not any, you get a lot of options on where you want to go. Um so sometimes you can pick the wrong port. <laughs> and I don't want to do that, so But yeah, we're here. Now let's check to see... Look at that. 69 kilometers. So we'll be there in no time. 70 now. We gained a kilometer. That seems legit. Um, oh, wait. No, I can't say that because I say that. Yeah, we'll be there in no time. I'll probably do another run just because it's... What is this? 
What the heck is that? Why did somebody just park their trailer in the road? What? There's another one up here. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, I don't really know what that's about. <laughs> There's another one here. Well, this one's kind of off the road, at least. Make sure that it's clear. It is. So yeah, I've never been to this main island before. I've this is all new territory for me, so I'm gonna experience it as long uh, uh, along with you people today. Tripping over my words. There's a lot of cars in that parking lot. Wow. I guess I'm still in the port area. There's a lot of cars. Speed limit's not very fast. Okay. Car's gonna go slower and slower. Like I'm behind a Prius. Luckily, I don't know if I'm early or late. I still have 14 hours. I'll be there in 45 minutes. So we can take all the time we want. We can stop and have a sleep if we really want to. We're not going to, but we could. Can I pass this car? Oh. But yeah, as you can see, like these dandelions here. I don't think they're dandelions. Sunflowers. These sunflowers were taken, just like the ones you see up in the default map. Which is nice, because it cuts down on the map uh, problems, the glitches in the map, when they just take it from the actual map. I mean, the, so far I don't see any problems. The roads are really nice, and they're, the, the terrain and the, you know, everything is... Look at this freaking crane over the road. Everything's really different from the default, yet kind of the same. Which is really nice to truck in. That car just took off like a rocket. It's gone now. I don't really know what happened. There it is up there. I mean... <laughs> not really sure. Oh, freaking... There's a... There's a hill. Also, I think this map mod was made without people using the realistic trailer weight which I am using, so it kind of, kind of tough sometimes, because I am hauling 25 tons, and the game would typically think I'm hauling, I don't know, 10, so there's been some times where some roads have looked uh, treacherous and impossible to get up, but you get there. You go a lot slower. So yeah, I think we're almost there. We're still kind of in the port area. I mean, look at all these containers down there. That's just, it's really well made, this map. It took forever to download. It took about two seconds to install, because it's just an SCS file. But you have to download two separate uh, RARs from this website that only allows you to download one file an hour, which an hour to them is more like three. Um, but I eventually got both parts, got them installed, looks great, worked great, works with the other mods I was using, with like this, uh, the Peterbilt and the trailer weight mod and the, uh, the improved, uh, trailer textures. And I think I'm also using the Chrome Wheel mod. Uh, not many other mods, really.
yeah, we're getting close. It looks like we're in the city now. We'll be there any second. And then we'll probably do another short rip after this. But I think this is going to be a great addition to the ETS2 series. I still have my other profile, my other save with this map not installed. I can always go back if you guys don't like this map edition. I do because I think it's just really well made. Looks very nice too. Okay. Weird. I think that's one thing I've noticed. There's like these little lines that as you drive at them, see? They kind of disappear. Oh. Oh. Okay. Am I good? No, I am good. Wow. Is this right? This doesn't seem right. Hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, this is right. Okay. It just doesn't, it really just doesn't seem right. This seems very strange. Yeah, yeah, okay, see, and then this is just the normal drop-off point that you would see in any city in the normal game. The one that where you drive back here, and then at the first spot you gotta park it in, right there. So, parking lights, flashers, let's back this thing in. I know it was green, but it wasn't lined up right, so I'm not going to drop it off crooked. There we go. Parking brake, flashers off, and detached trailer. Got a little bit of experience. Not bad. Now let's go to the job market, find something else leaving the city right here. I wish you could zoom in on this map. You can't, and it's kind of annoying when it comes to, you know, having a mod. What, 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 what is it doing? This city. I don't really want to cross the water again, but it seems like, ah. Uh, that's kind of a nice one. I might do the 22 tons of apples. Yep. Because I don't want to cross the water again. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, we can do this one. Let's do this one real quick. Detach that. Take off my uh, parking brake. on also. Oh, is it here where I need to pick up the load? Because it's the GPS isn't telling me where to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna check here. See if this is where I need to pick up the load. Yep. That works. Alright now I just have to turn the truck around. My lights back on parking use of headlight defense like instantly apparently there's just a cop sitting in this parking lot just waiting for trucks to not use their headlights for two seconds 
didn't realize that that was a thing, but whatever, $150, I'm a millionaire, so, which I don't like. <laughs> But yeah, we this this load will probably take ten minutes, maybe. I realize that I talked a lot in the beginning of the episode, so I'll do a little extra run here. Headlights on. Turn that off. Gonna make it? Yeah, we're good. Alright. 22 tons of apples. Shouldn't be a bad run. How, how long does it stay? Three hours? Yeah, that'll take no time. Well, it might take some time. <laughs> this might be like a 45 minute episode. But whatever. It did, my frames do not like this little parking lot here. Do not like it. I'm gonna hurry up and get out of here. Gotta squeeze through this spot again. other seems legit <laughs> oh, look at this road wow this is gonna be an interesting run Take another left. Yeah, left at this light, it looks like. Oh, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. Of course, the light's going to be green all the way until I get close to it. really interesting road. I mean, look at that. Uh, that's pretty twisty. And it's probably hilly, too, so... It's gonna be an interesting run to the next city over. But yeah, I've been playing this game off-camera a lot, especially with this map mod. Um, and it's it's really, it's nice. 
it's really nice. I just, I absolutely hate the fact that they give you a million dollars. It's just, what's the point? Having all that money defeats the point of the game. It really does. I mean, if you earned $5 million, that's a total different story. Starting level zero with $5 million is ridiculous. So, hopefully uh, Alex can help me figure out how to change that. He says you can edit the profile. I, I don't know how to do that. I've tried to do it. I've read online that people say you can do it with Notepad++, uh, which for me doesn't work. <laughs> so... This looks like a sharp turn. Lots of cars and trucks going by. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely nice seeing new terrain. I mean, I didn't see the entire original map because it's just so massive, but it's nice that it's, I'm pro I'll probably never see all of this map now, but it's just nice having all these different countries you can drive in and, you know, the. I mean, this terrain is totally different from anything that I've seen in the normal ETS2 map. So, and you're probably going to hear some kids out my window because kids are loud. They don't ever know how to shut up. So, yep. What are you doing? I'm going around you. You don't know. Mm -hmm. If that was real life, I would have done the same thing. You don't just break on a two-lane road for no reason in front of a truck hauling 22 tons. Would have done it in real life. Would have just gone right around that idiot. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. The guy was an pure jackass. But I made that construction light though, which was nice. Works out in the end, I guess. It's going to get hilly now. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the ETS2 series. I like the fact of doing two ETS2 videos a day because it lets me play this game more, uh, which I really didn't for a while there because I was playing GTA so much, and it's, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. Um, I know my ETS2 videos don't do as good as my LCPDFR videos, but no video ever will. Um, but I, it's definitely nice breaking away from having, you know, just LCPDFR on my channel, because that, you just, you can't survive on just one game. Uh, especially when that game is going to become obsolete very soon with the fact of GTA 5 coming out and I'm definitely going to, once GTA 5 comes out I'm not going to stop doing LCPDFR videos but I'm going to drastically cut them down because we're going to be playing GTA 5 I realize that GTA 5 isn't going to have LCPDFR um, that's why I still will play LCPDFR but GTA 5 is going to take priority definitely 
Um, I'm just going to need to find a way to tear myself away from it to edit the videos. <laughs> or to play this, because the multiplayer mod for ETS2 uh, is scheduled for release in September. Well, that's what they're saying right now. That, that time could change, but it's going to be... This game will probably be the first break that I take after GTA 5 comes out. From GTA 5. Whoa. This trailer almost took me out. Um, I just, I cannot wait to play this game multiplayer. I think it'll be fantastic. And this road is bumpy with the new force feedback. Holy crap. You guys can't hear it or feel it, but my wheel is just shaking like crazy. Man, this is nuts. This is a crazy little two-lane dirt road. Traffic whizzing by in both directions. Turn my, I'm going to turn my main lights off. It is uh, actually 4 in the morning, so I'm going to turn my main lights back on. <laughs> until it gets a little later. Because I don't like blinding people on this little two-lane road. That guy's going really slow, and I'm not. I think there's a reason for that. Oh, God. I would have just broke something right there. <laughs> this was real life. I would have just broke something. Jake breaking like that. Could have shifted in 10. But nope. Stayed in 9th all the way down. Alright. Well, we made it. Wasn't that bad of a trip. Now I'm just going to park this thing and we are all good. And here we are. Parking lights on. Go ahead and turn in. Alrighty. And let's just back it in. It's gonna be very simple. Oh, use the headlights. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Well, there we go. Parking brake. Flashers off. Detached trailer. There we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you like this map mod, if you want me to continue doing it. Uh, I will restart my game once I figure out how to get rid of all this ridiculous money. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time.